Greetings, signs and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. Know that I have already called in all the appropriate guidance, protection, and coverage needed for us. I want to say thank you to all that have donated, thought to all that have booked with me. I'm still waiting for the queen to reach out to me, okay? So please email me at oracleoftheether at gmail.com. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into this reading, what was done last night. Or what will be done during the energy of this full moon? Ether, show me what it is I need to see. All right. So we have the hedge in the hierarchy. So what I'm feeling right now is this is uh, yin energy. Okay. This is talking about the matriarch of the family. This is talking about elevation, ascension. Okay. Someone wants to move to another level. Some of you have been moved to a, a different level. Okay. To a higher level. You may be um, getting some sort of raise. Okay. This could be like a raise in spiritual energy or an actual physical raise in your finances or in your job and career. That's what I'm getting. Okay. The reconciliation. Some of you are definitely in that energy of calling all of you back. Okay. Past, present, and future. And if you're not, you need to start practicing that on the daily. We are in the middle of a spiritual battle. Okay. This is spiritual warfare for those of you that resonate with this energy. All right. Now let's see. Show me what it is I have to see. Of course, we're going to have the distorted feminine energy and the distorted masculine energy. These people are really hurt. That's what I'm being guided to inform you. And look right behind the distorted feminine energy um, is the scales of my odd, unbalanced, lies, lies. So somebody could have lied about a reconciliation, all right? Somebody could have also did a reconciliation spell. Okay, you have to realize that the our curse, right? Because it's sticking out. We have curse and games being played, right? With someone's divinity. This person is trying to tap in energetically to whomever this resonates with, okay? Ether, show me what it is. I have to see we had that moon card pop up, right? So the la, la Luna, this is the full moon. And here we have the night woman, which is the high priestess of this, this deck, okay? And we have Fortuna. So this is games. This is somebody's trying to bend someone's will in their favor, this is the queen of pentacles. This is somebody that's self-sufficient. People see her as beautiful, stable, okay? And typically the queen of pentacles is single. So we have the coven playing games, all right? And then we have divine feminine in the building. We can't have one of these readings without somebody hating on the divine feminine energy. Know that you are one with la luna. You are one with the moon. Start making yourself, um, cloaking yourself in that yin energy, okay? The moon is a feminine energy. You could be a child's mother. This could be about a child's mother playing games, okay? And what do we have? We have the vows. Now, these could be sacred vows or this could be um, scriptured vows, okay? Man-made vows for some of you. For some of you, this involves somebody that has children. And, of course, we have the taboo, right? So these individuals went ahead and did their blood with rituals during the full moon, of course. But what I'm getting is a sizzle, a sizzle pop, sizzle fizzle pop. Um, that's what I'm getting, okay? Um, because these people are so live, uh, low vibrational, they don't have the energy to maneuver it around. This is why they go to different uh, different people. They rack up more karma, okay? With synergy here, somebody planted a seed. Now, I'm being told to talk about the heart attack spell that someone tried to do, whether if it was um, done to me directly or some of you may have experienced, again, some sort of uh, life after death experience or a near-death experience or or one that felt like one. I'm getting for some of you, this happened in the dream state. You could have dreamed of someone passing away. For those that, you know, don't know, you may resonate with this and you may not. Um, when someone passes away in the dream state, for me, it's an indication of a breakup. Okay. Somebody could definitely be channeling the ending of something. 
okay? With the queen here in the hierarchy, I feel like this is for those of you that have connected with that divine feminine energy. Some of you are pulling in your divine counterpart regardless of what's happening on the physical plane. This is why these individuals are doing what they are doing. Some of you may choose to, yeah, some of you may choose the route of a soulmate. Some of you, either you or your person is dealing with someone that they have children with, okay? This union is one that's toxic. It, it's shaky. It's a shaky business deal. And, and guess what? We got to have the, the distorted feminine, distorted masculine energy showing up. Now, for those of you that know there's there's a karmic male involved in your life, they, you know, they take on the energy of a nasty female, you know what I'm saying? Like a dirty, nasty, ratchet female. And they just, that's, this is why they show up as a distorted feminine energy, very emotional, irrational. They want things their way. They probably was babied as a child. Okay. With the un unknown and vows, I feel the energy of someone being in a state where they really don't. It really doesn't matter because you are advancing anyway, regardless of the games, the distortions, the spell work, the covens. Okay. So, um, <laughs> we're going to flip the script. We're going to flip the script. We got the queen here, right? Let me tell you how I'm channeling this energy now. Whoever this person is, this could be somebody of rank in this particular coven. Okay. This is the one that has the money. This is also somebody that could have promised their coven members some sort of advancement through tampering with your energy or the energy of the divine feminine as a collective, okay? These are a group of karmics that cast spells on individuals that they feel are divine. Some of you, you, you know, those that resonate with that energy, you didn't know you was, you was no divine masculine, no divine feminine. OK, either you didn't know or your person didn't know. This is something that you learn gradually. Right. However, these individuals, whether if they're family or friends, this is something they knew when they looked at you. This is why they don't like you. This is why they lie on you. This is why they covet. OK, and they go to covens to try to steal your energy, trying to stop this advancement. I'm hearing trying to stop a raise. Now, this um, this for some of you, you may be looking for a raise or asking for a raise, needing to ask a raise. But what I'm getting, is, this is a um, a spiritual raise, okay? So I'm being shown and like intuitively guided to talk about um, Yeshua or, you know, some that know this person or this energy as Jesus Christ. I call it Christ or Yeshua and how Yeshua or Jesus, if you believe in that, okay? But there's there's equivalents in all religions and all cultures that will match that energy. For me, this is all energy, okay? This is energy that doesn't leave the planet. When we're talking about these spirits and these deities and, and, and these gods and false gods, okay, that come from the underworld, all right? That was a sacrifice, okay? Don't forget that. Everybody loved or most people gravitate towards Jesus Christ, whether if they follow the, that particular religion, Catholic, Christian, or not, they still gravitate towards that. And it's because this energy was sacrificed for somebody else's sins. We love to scapegoat people. So please realize that, that Christ's energy is in a lot of divine feminine and divine masculines, okay? This is about your fortune. This is about your future, that's just period poo. All right, let's see. I got a little ratchet. Cause you know what I'm saying. You, get, you step in the ratchet energy. You got. I mean, you take on that little bit of energy. You know. You got to meet them at they live. You see, they be with the shenanigans. Okay, they be they they hit me with the shenanigans before, during, after. Okay. With the aura here, you know it. Some of you picking up on this energy so quickly, okay? For a lot of you, you, you are in the public. Um, you may have a job where you have to deal with the public. You're starting to pick up on energy instantly, okay? There's no cloaking your vision anymore about distorted people. Some of you realize that these people have no souls. Look at this. The truth is here. 
Some of you realize these people have no souls, right? Saturn represents Capricorn. All right, that's about stability, but it also is the devil in traditional tarot. The devil plays with our minds and plays with individuals that are easily to manipulate minds to come towards you. And we, we have the black moon Lilith. Some of you need to check your Lilith sign. It may be resonating with you at this time. Matter of fact, it may resonate with you at all, all moon cycles, because people try to throw these veils of illusion on to individuals, especially readers. Okay. So we had the black moon Lilith, the queen. Okay. They're talking about, uh, you know, they want me to address Adam's first wife, which was Lilith. Right. <laughs> but the cold part about it, check this duality out. When Adam refused Lilith, guess where Lilith went? Lilith went to the devil. Lilith became the devil's wife in some religions. This is going to be illuminated to someone that this was not supposed to be their partner. And this is probably what has been hidden from you or your person with illumination. Somebody's into candle magic. And I'm hearing uh, some of these individuals are very good, or they were. So they met you. This is the clarity that you need. <laughs> All right. So we have Saturn return age. Ooh, what you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? This is about paying your dues. This is cycle. This is definitely judgment energy. And we do see. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Your person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or the person that involved that is involved is. They took a chance. They rolled the dice, baby. Ooh, this is interesting. I wonder if it'll, it'll be a part two. Why is the queen here? Hmm. For what they did last night or what they're planning to do tonight. <laughs> This is a mastery, okay? This is why we have, this person is is gung-ho. Let me tell you, they pulling all the, they pulling out all they, they tricks and flips and dips. You see how they, they got their little juju uh, bag, grish, grish bag or, or something like that. Grease, that's what, I can't pronounce it right. Y'all know those of you that's in, that's in, uh, to the BS. Y'all know what's, what I'm talking about. Mm hmm this queen hierarchy. I'm hearing that somebody could have possibly moved someone up in their sisterhood. Some of you may have been spiritually attacked. Okay. And it scared you and it, it could have possibly took you off your mission. Okay. But I feel like once you see this or you get some sort of enlightenment. Okay. Somebody from your past this queen of pentacles is very much towards virgo capricorn energy all right and i'm also getting gemini libra aquarius with the hierarchy here now of course this could be anyone a games okay i'm that's giving me sagittarius vibes no no offense okay but we have the mercury retrograde energy so that would be gemini virgo but let me tell you we just came out of mercury retrograde so somebody could have met someone <laughs> oh this is juicy whoever this queen of pentacle is this person that sends out all this negative energy somebody from their past came back uh-huh if it's not somebody that physically from their past came back, a past event came back to haunt them. Okay. This is something that they were um, warned about in my candle popping. This is something that they were warned about. This is somebody that has a Ouija board. Okay. And I'm hearing cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Cuckoo, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay. This is somebody that's into divination, but they are in cahoots with lower vibrational energies. This person has a lot of spiritual knowledge about the underworld. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, look at this. Third house. Third house is all about communication, right? With messages. That's that Gemini energy. This is talking about foresight. Somebody could also study the heligra um, heligraph. Oh, I can't speak. 
Mercury all up in my mouth. The the heliographs. Okay, they, they this is somebody um <laughs> Okay, it's like this Queen of Pentacles may have conjured themselves up a warlock, somebody that's going to drain them of their energy with mastery here. This person is headed towards whoever. Ooh, confirmation. For some of you, you watching this and you know. <laughs> yeah, baby, that fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. About to mess your head up. Whoever's doing the conjuring. I'm hearing it's a loved one, too. Somebody that they love with. Possibly their child's father. Ooh, the cards is telling it. Oh, look at this. This person is into scarring. They try to use uh, mirrors, black mirrors, regular mirrors to reach into your environment. This may have been something that, um, that happened this full moon. But let me tell you, honey. This is why you know who know who your readers is, because when you hear something, you know, uh, uh, that's that message message for me. You could go through all the whole reading, and then you hear something and make you be like, oh, let me get to my little rituals. Let me get to my cleansing. Clean your mirrors. Okay. I like to use apple cider vinegar, regular vinegar, sometimes ammonia. Windex, I don't care, but 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 clean. Um, I said windows. I meant mirrors. Ooh, ooh, does somebody need to clean their windows? Child, but we had the illusion card come out. So somebody got the illusion that they were spiritually leveling up. If this person did um, a ritual, a sacrifice, or whatever to whatever demonic spirit, is they trade places with this energy. Okay, whatever energy they've been working, <laughs> Woo! and it caused somebody to level up. Whatever they sent out, they trade places. Mm -hmm. You see it, sacrifice. But whatever energy they sent out, why is hard? Fortune, fortune cookie, excuse me, I'm speaking French, <laughs> jibber jabbish and everything else, okay, but so hierarchy, okay, I'm going to tell y'all, I don't care, when I look at this card from the angle that I look at it, it always looks like a foot, it's stepping on somebody's face, right, <laughs> this is my time, I'm tired of being stepped on, I'm tired of being stepped on, <laughs> Whatever coven they, whatever they promised their coven members is all a lie, boo boo. And whoever this coven member is, they starting to see, ooh, ooh, ooh. Was it the coven member? Has somebody come back during the Mercury retrograde? A friend? That's what it looked like to me. This is also somebody that tried to like, they, you know, after they did all this nastiness, now they want to be, oh God, save me, please. Like, you know, they were trying to reinvent themselves. But with the caution being here, they was warned. Okay. These people have even tried to contact your passed over relatives. What kind of, who is it? Who, let me find out somebody out here trying to channel under somebody else's energy, under someone else's blueprint. Child, they be doing too much. Ooh, using crystal balls, sky mirrors, Ouija boys, trying to channel up other people's Passover loved ones. Ain't this something? With the omen, now this person is being spooked and haunted. Duh. Hmm? We have Venus here. This is all about love, baby. What you love? What you love? So, what I'm getting, there's a group of friends, possibly three, five, okay, six. 
Okay, it's a coven. It could be seven, possibly even 13. But people is checking out. What's that? That Hotel California. Oh, this person may watch a lot of American Horror Story or witchy stuff. Because I'm hearing that theme song, Hotel California. That may resonate. Somebody may need to see, watch that version of uh, American Horror Story. Why is Sisterhood here? Sisterhood. <laughs> I just laugh. It's so cool. Fire and desire, baby. Look at that. Desire, passion, want to be you. Mm-hmm. Want to be you. They're not authentic, but they desire to be authentic. Someone could be writing a book. How are they going to try to write a life story that ain't even theirs? Child. I heard north, south, east, west. So this is definitely somebody that was chanting something in the moonlight. <laughs> and I see, this is a Satanist, because y'all might not see it, but I see like little horns coming out of this. Okay, so I feel like a Capricorn has something to do with this. Something's going to be found out. It's going to be illuminated. Sun is uh, Leo, but this person could have a sun in Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or someone that they're dealing with is. And I'm hearing the Pisces also because somebody's being scapegoated. So they got somebody that's innocent that's taking all the... Look at this. I'm tired of being stepped on. Somebody that's innocent. You got this person over here. Let me let me let me show y'all. Cause this this is. You got this person over here, and you got this person over here, and then this person in the middle being consoled. If you just told somebody about a passing over of a loved one, these people had something to do with it. Okay, they're watching you. You getting all kind of signs and synchronicities, possibly even formation of birds here. What is that saying? going south for the winter? Is it going south? Child. Desire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong Leo energy, part of fortune increase. This is my will of fortune card. This is generational wealth, most definitely. Hmm. Someone is moving towards the prize here. They're following numbers, synchronicity. Somebody could even be playing the lot. Ooh, child. I, you know, my girl Lilith, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing against Lilith. But Lilith next to Saturn? <laughs> Ooh, child. Hold on. I just had to take a pause here and figure out what I'm going to... What's going on with this Mercury retrograde energy? Why is this here? Clarify the Mercury retrograde energy. <laughs> Somebody need to cleanse themselves. Okay. Somebody was, uh, I heard trauma bond or love bond by someone that came back from the past. This person was happy. Okay. Um, they was receiving all type of signs. I feel like this is somebody that did some spell work. Okay. Cause this is determination. All right. For others of you, this person tried to embody you. Okay. I'm getting also that this person has been switching energies. Like this person has been switching energies and you may notice that in readings. Okay. If you know the signs of your karmic, you'll go to your karmic reading and you'll be like, wait a minute. Okay, that's 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 happening to me. Okay, that's for those of you that 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 resonate with that. But this person <laughs> that was supposed to cleanse that energy when this person came back, they were supposed to do some sort of confession or it was to balance the scales. That's what I'm hearing. Why is caution here? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> they was told to stop. Stop channeling up other people's relatives. Mm -hmm. Stop going to the river and the waters. Mm -hmm. The river, the rivers and the fresh water. I'm, I'm getting. Okay. Stop trying to use the Orishas. I heard Mama Wata. Okay. To uh, against people that have lineage. You, you sending water spirits after people. That are the water? Come on, man. You are you, 
They was told to stop with the isolation spells. They was told to stop. Okay. This, this person, they didn't trust their own intuition. They was not conscious. They was not conscious. They exerted their will. We see all of it. Why is the Oracle here? Yeah, these people are communicating. Ooh, ooh. Magic one to come out. Why is the Oracle here? I don't even want to do a part two. I just want to get out of this energy. Ooh, look at this. We have growth and magic again. Growth and power hungry. Look, look at all this confirmation. Come on now. These people could have possibly been trying to tap into your um, solar plexus and sacral chakra energy if you've been waking up with back pains. Oh, yes. Yes, they was trying to put another cord on you last night. They're going to keep trying to do it until one of them croaked. That's what I'm getting. Because they look at that. Look at that. Ah. Child, I'm trying to tell you. They took your kindness for weakness. Um, mm, Spirit wants you to know. Hold on. I keep stopping it because... I'm running out of time here, and I want to, okay, make sure we get this. We have healing spells in reverse, so they didn't want you to to heal. They're doing honey jars or some sort of jars, freezer spells, ring of power, chanting, and doing all that, you know, stuff that's going to take them to heal. Um, eclipse enchantment. <laughs> These people... Okay, conjuring pleasure, sweeping change spell, sweet dream spell. What I tell you, they're trying to astral project. And we have moon spells, right? Soul mate spell. <clears throat> Stability. It's going to cut off, y'all. But they're watching, so. Mm -hmm. Look, trying to, mm, trying to mess up your energy to mess up your abundance. Now, ain't that a dirty dog? Why is energy here? Balance, sweetness, what I tell you, they're trying to mess up your energy. Mm -hmm. Try to make you not want love, uh, put you in that energy.